Hi, my name is Priyanka. I am 16 years old. I am a current student at United World College of the Adriatic, which is in Italy. And before that, I, f I studied at Epiphany School, which is in Guru Arpet. The changes that I've gone through because of Maya are pretty evident. Like, I was really shy. I was like any other girl in the community. I never spoke up. Lots of people like bullied me or then I was Eve teased or then lots of things happened. But I never could raise my voice. And I think it's after Maya that I realized that like it was important to voice your opinions. I just became really aware of what was happening around and just became really aware of myself. We really focused on values. So Maya was not just about putting up a show, but it was more about just like trying to discover ourselves through these two and a half years that we went through. I had had life-changing experiences. Like I really grew as a person a lot over these two years. And I realized that it was important to like just spread this light in some or the other ways. And then I went to the college, United World College, and I always, since the beginning, I really felt the gap. Like I knew it existed, but then when I went there, it sort of hit me. Just like the difference between me and the other kids who are studying there. And that's how I realized that if it hit me, then I had to do something about it. And that's why even the project is called Bridging the Gaps. So I wanted kids who had these privileges or had the opportunities to learn skills. I wanted them to like get these skills that they had and like share it with the kids who are not getting them. So it's a two week long project where we start visiting like three different schools. One of it is a low income private school and two others are PMC schools. So we work with these kids in these criteria. So we, we work with the kids on um, English basic literacy. We work on public speaking, uh, dance and drama. I wanted the, these volunteers to really understand where I'm coming from the, and really understanding the why behind the project. And that's why I wanted them to live in my house, in the community itself. And it's a big challenge, of course, because our house is pretty small. There are 10 volunteers, but some of them who have never been to India. But the idea was just like them to realize that we're doing this for the kids and it's important that we understand where these kids come from and what they go through every day. So far my impressions have been fairly mixed. It's very different from home here and sort of it's amazing to have the opportunity to come into a, such a different world and such a different life here and just seeing the way that the kids here are so full of joy and that they can meet a total stranger and want to know everything there is to know about them. I was very worried about how I would conduct myself in these situations. I'm not from the community, I don't know what kind of like authority I would have with these children if they would want to listen to me at all. But it really hasn't been that way, like these kids have been extremely, extremely open to whatever content we have to offer. I think I will have a different vision of the world. India is my first time really going outside of my comfort zone. And so I think from this I can get a lot. We have a, quite a strict schedule and I have to share the space with a lot of people. And now we sleep on the ground and everything, but it's actually a very nice extra experience. You realize how good it is to have all those things. When you've never been in a situation like this, you might take it for granted. It's definitely eye-opening and it's making me aware of other people's circumstances. It's very different to hear about it from one person and then to actually go and experience it yourself. Experiences like these, you, will always, you always think about them and then they always sort of make you want to be able to do more. I think that when there are problems around, we need mobilization of people and that mobilization of people grows into a movement that sort of leads to the change or like helps people to lead to that change. Be a ladder and not a leader. And I think that just defines leadership for me. It's like not about leading a group of people, but just helping them to learn how to lead themselves and the group together. I think if many people want to make a change, but they feel like they kind of needed someone to initiate that change and so I think like Priyanka, like a real leader, can make people understand that they are able to make a change. I think sometimes we just need to come out of our boxes and just have hope because I think I would rather have hope and like work towards it rather than saying it's not possible and not move. My devotion and like my understanding of this cause of like education for children, I think it will just deepen and strengthen over these years and hopefully after five years I'll just have a deeper understanding of how I want to use a part of my life for this cause.